Hi, my name is Bill Ness, and I got a mito hack for you. Now, not a lot of us, as we're searching out our diagnosis, we believe it's mito, but it could be something else, or we think we might have uh, been chasing something else, and it led us to mito. Either way, um, trying to get that diagnosis, trying to figure it all out, is a key. Now, one of the things that I have taught myself how to do is how to read medical papers and how to research a doctor. When I'm gonna go see a doctor, I look up that doctor. Lots of things on the internet nowadays. You can see malpractice suits, you can see what they do, how they specialize, papers that they wrote. So if they've written any papers, I'll find all those papers and I'll start reading them, seeing what their specialty is, what they're interested in, what do they know about, so that when I'm going there, I have a pretty good idea of what that doctor is very proficient in and has a good knowledge about and it's led to a lot of good things for me um, one of the things that i've also done with reading these papers is i'm not a medical professional by any means i'm a old commercial diver so one of the things i had to do was just google words google meetings google and teach myself what all these big medical terms mean so that i can read a paper somewhat and be able to be able to have a, a uh, intelligent conversation with a doctor and I understand what they're saying and they kind of understand what I'm saying. It's kind of meeting it halfway instead of one speaking French and one speaking English. We're both kind of speaking each other's language a little bit. So it has helped out greatly to be able to recognize things and be able to talk to them. So reading their papers, researching anything you can about them, um, really helps in understanding where you, that doctor's appointment might go before you even get there.